Greetings, everyone. Today we are going to visit Seattle's oldest Chinese restaurant. We're going to order the legend Bruce Lee's favorite dishes, and maybe even hang out with the restaurant owner for a bit. Let's go inside. I'm inside the restaurant, and I'm definitely feeling Bruce Lee vibes, and also feel like I just went back in time. This restaurant was established in 1935. Seattle's oldest Chinese restaurant, and there's just there's just I'm like overwhelmed. There's just so much stuff here. Looks like I mean this this <laughs> this looks vintage 80s, maybe even 70s. I came to the U.S. in 1980, and it just brings back a lot of memories to see stuff like this. A lot of celebrities have checked out this place. Is that Freddie Brown, former Sonics player? You got Lori Matsukawa, a news anchor. Former mayors there, Rice Nichols. Here's the current mayor, Durkin. Oh, Gary Locke. Wow, also a former mayor. Here you have. Anthony Bourdain. And I'm just waiting for Ryan or one of the other workers here to seat me. They're cleaning up Bruce Lee's booth. That's right, there is a booth in the back where Bruce Lee used to sit at. And I'm lucky today because I'm going to get to hang out there. All right, so. Head out to the Bruce awesome. Thank you. All right. Oh, wow. There's Bruce right there. Thank you. All right. We're going to sit here. Wow. I have all the space to myself. This is awesome. It feels amazing to be sitting here. I totally feel Bruce Lee vibes here. Wow. This is amazing. Check out all these photos of Bruce. So I'm checking out the menu right now. And Bruce's favorite dishes here were the oyster sauce beef and garlic shrimp. Is there anything else that Bruce Lee likes to order besides the uh, oyster? Beef chow fun. Beef chow fun. Ooh, that'd be too much food. Maybe next time. Okay. I think I'm good with those two okay. and the oyster cabbage. Oyster sauce, beef and shrimp, garlic sauce and rice. Seam rice? Seam rice, yes. Okay. Thank you. All right, so the food is here. We have oyster sauce beef, garlic shrimp, and Bruce always likes to have cabbage soup with his meal. All right, you guys, it's time to enjoy some of Bruce Lee's favorite dishes. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. No chopsticks, but that's okay. You don't always have to use chopsticks at Chinese restaurants. <laughs> I do like to use chopsticks, though, so maybe I'll ask for chopsticks. All right, gonna go ahead and uh, put some rice on my plate. And I'm gonna start off with the beef dish here. Oh man, Bruce, I'll tell you, Bruce is a carnivore because what are the vegetables? <laughs> I mean, there are some onions there and uh, here as well, but yeah, he's he likes his protein, that's for sure. This is amazing. I have this whole entire space to myself. Mmm. All right, I'm gonna taste the beef dish first. But before that, we must do the soup, cabbage soup. Oh, yeah. Check that out. All right. Mm. That's a very um, nice and gentle soup. I like that. Oh, yeah. You can't go wrong with oyster sauce or beef for that matter. So good. Mm. As I'm eating this food, I'm thinking about all of the Bruce Lee movies that I've watched. Enter the Dragon, Big Boss. That one was filmed in Thailand. I like that movie a lot. Which one was your favorite? Let me know. You know, Bruce died early in his 30s, early 30s. So he only, he only put out a handful of movies. Really unfortunate. 
All right, I'm gonna try the garlic shrimp now. Wow, it smells great. Wow. These are two really good dishes. <laughs> I'm so hungry right now. Tai Tung has served five generations of customers. That's a long time to be in business. And apparently, the owner, Harry Chan, he's still around. Financial opportunity lies ahead. I like that. Thank you, Bruce. It's been awesome. See you again soon. All right, we're out of here. See if I can say hi to Harry. Hello, sir. All right, we have here Harry Chan, the owner. So what's your favorite dishes here? Or, you know, what do you recommend people order when they come here? Well, when they come <laughs> in, the first thing I would like them to look at the special here. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, before look at the regular menu. Of course, you know, some people, they like uh, chicken, some people like beef, and some people like uh, seafood. Yeah. Okay, so, you know, I would like to them to tell me what they like and I can suggest oh. what they like you know see, yeah. so you know of course right now see, a lot of people they like oyster sauce beef because that's because uh, uh, Bushley's uh, <laughs> favorite dish yeah. and the that's shrimp and garlic sauce right. that's what I had that's what I had you know honey one of one you know see a vegetable with a pea wine, yeah. Chinese broccoli. And oh my gosh, you know. yeah, pea vines. I love that. Yeah, yeah, okay. And, okay. Uh, oh, spare rib, you know, right? Uh, what they call the uh, salt pepper, uh, uh, spare rib, right? Uh, Thai tongue style spare rib, okay. a lot of garlic and lemon. And you gotta like garlic, okay? You know, see, so we have a lot of uh, chow mein, you know, sweet and sour chicken. You know, the egg roll, our chicken wing, chicken wing is very popular. Oh, okay. You know, see, we have a, a lot of them, you know, So it's very important when you come in, like you said, to look at that wall there. Look at that full food. Yeah, and look at that full food. find something first. that they like. Right, right. And then look at the regular menu. Ah, uh, that that's, that's a valuable uh, a tip right there. Yeah. I'm going to have to do that when I come next time <laughs> because I just come here and I say, I'm eating what Bruce right. Lee ate. You know, well, what like the people who go to the other restaurant, they look at the, what's the, uh, today's man. <laughs> Today's uh, right. uh, menu first. Right, right, right. Before yeah, yeah. We look at the regular menu. Yeah. Well, I know. So, Harry, I know that this restaurant has served five generations of customers. Uh, and, and so, how? So, re remind me, how long have you worked here? Well, I worked here over fifty years. Fifty years. So you saw Bruce then? Well, I did. Know, you see Bruce? You know, but actually, I'm from Hong Kong. Oh, okay. okay so, kind of the time thing, I come to Seattle and keep go back to Hong Kong. <laughs> <laughs> you missed him. <laughs> no, I don't see him personally, but I heard a lot about oh, him yeah, from yeah. my staff right. you know, see, and uh, customers. Mm -hmm. I you know. see, I see. Yeah. Awesome, man. See, so one, thing, uh, my, one of my uh, old employees told me, see, that the area, that the table that he wanted to sit over there right. when he come by himself. Right. You know. Because he liked to sit there because he doesn't like to have people behind him. Exactly. For for defensive well, yeah. defensive reasons, right? Yeah, it's like it's like an animal instinct, right? Yeah. you can best protect yourself when there are no people behind you, and you can have the peripheral view exactly. of, of everything. So you that know, that makes sense. Sure. You sit there, and yeah. you can see, yeah, you know, everything, yeah. you know, and you because know, Bruce, nobody behind you. I think Bruce has some enemies back <laughs> in that day too, right? <laughs> no, I actually heard that uh, there's a park uh, in Beacon Hill when I was a kid growing up. Now I'm telling you a quick story. When I was a kid growing up, there was a man who lived by that park who told me that back in the day, Bruce Lee would go jogging there at that park. Uh, I can't think of the name of that park off the top of my head, but it's in North Beacon Hill. And people would challenge him to fights at okay. the park while he'd be jogging around the park, mm. uh, Harry. And of course, he'd be like, let's go, what the? <laughs> <laughs> that's it, that's it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah it's an awesome story. Yeah. So yeah, okay. so thank you so much thank for, you your, much. for your tip okay. and uh, I'll see you again soon, Harry. Yeah, sure. Bye-bye. Yeah. All right, you guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. 
it was fun to make and the food was delicious. I definitely felt Bruce Lee vibes here and it was even more special that I was able to talk to the owner Harry for a little bit. All right you guys if you enjoyed this video please smash smash the like button and if you have not already subscribed please do so it really helps the algorithm and help this channel to grow. From Seattle Chinatown International District see you next time. Peace.